Hi, my name is Jason Mikowski. I'm a sports dietitian and performance specialist here at Hospital for Special Surgery. Today we're going to be talking about enjoying food at holiday time without sabotaging your health efforts. So the holidays are a time for celebration, for family, for enjoying some special foods as well. So yes, we want to be able to indulge and enjoy the foods we like at this time of year, but also we don't want to go completely off the rails and lose all of the progress we've made for, let's say, the first nine or ten months. First, consider portioning your plate. When we're at a buffet at holiday time, there's so much food out there, it's easy to let our eyes get bigger than our stomachs. So why don't we let our plate control our stomachs? So research shows that if you actually use a smaller plate, you're much less likely to take too much food and you're going to eat less. Also, if you are going to put food on your plate, focus on putting a lot of fruits and veggies on it first, covering ideally at least half the plate, if not more. What that's going to do is it's going to get you to eat slower because you actually have to chew the vegetables and fruits more. And also, it's just going to give you more nutrients and keep you fuller longer, so maybe you're not going to have as much dessert later on. Another aspect of holiday eating is indulging wisely. So again, this is a time of year where there's certain special foods that you get to enjoy that you probably normally don't have. If you like the pumpkin pie, have a slice. If grandma makes the best stuffing in the world, have a portion on your plate. But also consider what other times you're indulging, well maybe you could leave it and not necessarily have it. Do you really need the cheese and crackers at appetizer time? Do you really need to try every dessert? Consider what you like and enjoy it but also consider what you can leave and don't necessarily have it just because it's there. Finally, and most importantly, it's all about getting back on the horse. Yes, there's going to be times, there's going to be a day when maybe you have too much, you have more than you intended, but that's only one day. Good healthy habits aren't based on a single day of eating. Often what happens is we'll actually have one bad day of eating and then we'll use it as an excuse to continue eating the poorly the rest of the week, month, or the rest of the year you know, 45 or 60 days can definitely make a difference. The key is to recognize it, accept it, and then focus again on all the great things you've been doing the first nine or 10 months to actually get the results you want and continue it for the rest of the holiday season.